earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. You must know something about the, the, the joy of the Lord. The joy that God gives, it infuses you with strength. It can strengthen your mind. To start understanding mysteries. To start understanding difficult subjects. It can strengthen your soul. Those of you that you have weak will. You are, you are weak. Your, your decision power is next to zero level. Anybody can easily persuade you out of what you think is right. You are not stable. You are, you are, you are weak. Your, your, your will is weak. The, 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 this force brings strength. The strength of the Lord. You must know how to access divine strength. They that wait upon the Lord in Isaiah 40 shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as ego. They shall run. They will not be weary. They will walk. They will not faint. There is strength that can strengthen what is weak. There is strength that can strengthen what is weak. You don't know how to spend money. Any little money you have spent, you have blown it all. You don't know how to plan. You don't know everything you don't know how to. There is strength in the law. That joy of God bats into your, into your soul. Oh, they say you are a bad planner. You are a poor this and that. Let the strength of God take over in that area of your life and become strong. Look at Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Nehemiah, when the Bible says that, that the joy of the law is your strength. Nehemiah. Let me pick it from verse 9. And Nehemiah, which is, which is the Tashata, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, weep not. Mourn not, nor weep. If you know God's hand will do something about your matter, you will stop crying. Weeping in the face of a problem is signing it off. Nothing can happen again. Oh, I have a negative outcome. That's the meaning of shedding tears of sorrow when negative things are happening. But when negative things are happening, the weapon that God gives to you is a weapon of joy. So look at it. It says, mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the Lord. They saw how far they have failed. They wept. Say, mourn not, nor weep. And you will notice that anywhere negative things are going on, and people are weeping because they are done for. They are left with their negative outcome. Which they know that is how it is going to continue. And God wants to intervene or take over. The first thing he will tell them is to stop crying. Jesus got to where he was going to raise Jairus' daughter that was dead. But Jesus said was sleeping. The first thing he did was to send out the professional mourners. When he touched, when he met the widow of name, the first thing he told that woman is, weep not. Because your tears of sorrow, your money, is going to hinder you from stepping in into divine solutions and answers that God has brought to your doorsteps. When Anna prayed in Shiloh, and the prophet, the priest, thought she was drunk because she was making statements. She was like a drunk woman. And the priest said, take your wine. For he said, I'm not drunk. I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I'm only pouring out my heart before the Lord. And when he said, go, the Lord hear thee and answer your petition. The Bible says she got up. She was no more sad. She was no more sad. If you believe what God has said, you will not be sad anymore. If you believe what God has said, you will not mourn anymore. If you believe what God has said, you will not shed any secret tears in the night anymore. You will do some joy. So, 
He will tell them in Isaiah 54 1. What did he say? Sing, O barren. Have you seen a barren that is singing? Because the next thing they are going to say, What is your joy that um, you, are, you are dancing? What do you have to show? But say, Sing. When you start singing, the power that's been following you that you have not accessed will overtake in your situation. So it says, Sing, O barren. Sink or bar. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.